um, I'm here to talk about 2022. I briefly spoke about it on the cross overnight. And the Lord made it clear to me that um, this will be a challenging year. I'm seeing some politicians, big politicians also dying. All right, we begin with a story that the world is watching right now. Sad news to report today. Britain's longest serving monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, has died. You're looking live at a large crowd outside her castle in Scotland. People you see are leaving flowers and lighting candles in her honor. She passed away surrounded by her family. Now the news comes after palace officials issued a statement saying the queen had been put under medical supervision. Queen Elizabeth has not made many appearances over the last few months because of her other health-related issues. Britain's new Prime Minister Liz Truss, who last saw the Queen in person earlier this week, spoke about what her loss means to the people. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. Through thick and thin, Queen Elizabeth II provided us with the stability and the strength that we needed. She was the very spirit of Great Britain, and that spirit will endure. Queen Elizabeth was 96 years old. She met with 14 U.S. presidents during her reign, including President Biden last year. Her oldest son, Charles, is now king. He will go by King Charles III. He released a statement a few moments after the news broke, saying, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all my family members. And thoughts and prayers for the royal family have been coming in all afternoon. President Joe Biden said Queen Elizabeth was a stateswoman of unmatched dignity and constancy who de uh, deepened the bedrock alliance between the U.S. and the U.K. And he ended his statement by saying her legacy will loom large in the pages of British history and the story of our world. Coming up at 4.30, a closer look at her life and legacy over the past 70 years that she spent on the throne.